go over here to the streets of OKC here, Oklahoma City here, guys, where we have the Oklahoma City Thunder here, laying a point and a half here at the house versus the Brooklyn Nets here, uh, getting a point and a half back on the road. If you'd like to go with the money line route, you can lay minus 125 with the home favor in this one, or you can get back plus 105 uh, with the Brooklyn Nets in this one, guys, over and under, sitting at 233 in this one, Ski. Um, do you agree with the Oklahoma City Thunder being a favorite over the Brooklyn Nets, who have been red hot, winning five of their last six games and 6-0 and against the spread, but also the Thunder are also, what, 4-1 uh, ATS in their last five games as well, Ski. Yeah, both teams playing kind of good lately. Um, when I look at post All-Star stats, it tells me that OKC's been a little bit better as far as the categories that I look at, offensive rating, defensive rating, rebound percentage. But I just don't feel that comfortable, uh, you know, asking them to – betting them as a favorite. Um, I like what I've been seeing from the Nets. Uh, I feel like they've been a little bit scrappy. I, I want to just shout out Macau Bridges. I know my guy Razor has been betting him on his three-point props since it was one and a half. They raised it to two and a half. He's still cashing that. So um, he might be worth a look if you want to bet anything from the net side. And from OKC, um, I know it's Jay Will that they've been targeting. I just forget the prop that they've been looking at. So I'm trying to help you guys out. It's not a game that I really love. Um, maybe bet the over just because both teams are top 10 in pace. OKC has played over six of their last eight games. So lean over, lean Macau Bridges, three-pointer, points prop, and um, Jay Will prop one way or another. See, they got two Jay Wills over there. Which one? Uh, it's Jalen, right? Let me see. I, 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 Josh, I think both of them name is Jalen as well. Oh. All right, I got you. It's the, it's the forward. <laughs> Josh, I think both of them play four. Is <laughs> Hey, no, my guy, I've been betting him for two weeks, so I'm just trying to help y'all make some money. It's not a guy I've been targeting. I like it, man. No, it's just, it's tough with the props there because I think both of them literally are named Jalen Williams. I think one of them is like L-I-E-N, the other one is L-E-N or something like that, man. So it's crazy they have two of those players. I just think that's so funny, guys. But, Josh, what do you think? And the Thunder are actually 5-1 ATS last uh, six games and straight up, I can say. So obviously the one real team that they played, what well, I did, they did beat the Warriors. That was a good one. Two wins versus the Utah Jazz. Another one versus the Spurs as well. Um, and then they beat the the, the Pelicans as well. So Thunder's resume is not necessarily as good as the Nets' resume. They just beat the Nuggets. They beat the Timberwolves. They kept it really close with the Bucks. Almost won that one as well, man. And they beat the Celtics in this span. So you could argue that the Nets' wins have been a lot more impressive than the Oklahoma City Thunder's here, Josh. Yeah, I'd agree with you that the, the resume recently looks a lot more impressive on paper. But, uh, you know, I still think that the Oklahoma City Thunder, for me, probably the more reliable team um, going forward. Uh, I do like what the Nets are doing offensively at the moment, which is really trying to push tempo, play up tempo, understanding that their best opportunity to score is early in the shot clock before those defenses can get set. Because we saw for a large portion of time there when this team first came together, when they were playing that slow half-court basketball. This offense was going four, five minutes without a field goal sometimes, um, and it was getting really ugly. They just don't have enough shot creators on that team uh, to be able to deal with half-court sets. So I, I think this figures to be an absolute shootout. I think both these teams are just going to run up and down the floor. Um, you know, you look at these non-conference games, specifically the ones played out west, they've, they've all been shootouts, really. Uh, both teams happy to just run up and down. I think we get exactly that today. And like I said, I think we get the Nets offense trying to do what they do, which is execute early in the shot clock. And I think that they'll be able to find some decent matchups there. And I like what the Thunder do offensively as well in a matchup like this. They'll be able to get to the rim, put some pressure on Brooklyn's defense on the inside and space the floor accordingly as well. Uh, you get SGA back for a game like this. I think that obviously speaks volume. So I, I love the over in this one. I have uh, I grabbed an over 230 when this one came out. I know it's moved up a few points, but I still have it at 235 by my numbers. So it's still a little bit uh, of market value to be had there. And even then, I'm, I'm not sure I'm capturing uh, the proper projection in its entirety for this game either, because I think that it'll be faster paced than what my numbers are even suggesting. And like I said, I think both offenses will likely be efficient as well, scoring the basketball. So for me, I love the over here. Uh, if I were to lean aside, I kind of lean towards OKC. I still think they're probably the more reliable team here. Um, you know, this market suggests that Brooklyn would be favored on a neutral. I, I personally still have OKC favored on a neutral, albeit very marginally. So slightly lean towards the Thunder, but I, I love the over here and I wouldn't talk you off of any team total overs either. 
Hey, when listen up, when the undertaking is taking the over in this one, um, you better listen up, my guy. I got Josh rocking with the over in this one. I don't, I don't even really have a lean in this one. Two somewhat bet on teams for me, in my opinion, going, uh, going forward. But I do agree that you, that it could be some high pace in this one. Neither team is really stopping the other down low as well, guys. So, um, I got Josh rocking with the over two thirty three in this one, guys. Thunder versus the Nets in this one. Can't talk you off, my guy. Ski, did you get some info on which Jalen it was or what? I saw you down there looking. with the E, with the E, man. <laughs> I was gonna say Jalen with the hair, but then I thought about it. They both got hair, so uh, Jalen with the E. <laughs> That's a funny segment right here, man. I just feel like those. I had to ask you, like, which one, bro? They got two, both of them. I sure they like, hey, which one, man? You know what? We're just gonna call you E, and we're gonna call the other one I. How about that, man? But. Yeah, two J wheels on the same team, but Josh rocking with the over and Noah could not talk you off in that one, guys.